Hey everyone, my name is Sean and this is Sean Stocks. Today, we're going to be continuing talking about Clove, C-L-O-V. This is my 36th video on Clove. If you've been watching my videos so far, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. You know, we're very close to hitting a great milestone of 2,000 subscribers, and I appreciate everyone for sticking with it, watching my videos, and supporting me along the way. It really keeps me motivated to help continue spread the word about close momentum to everyone out there on YouTube and beyond. And today, we're going to get started right away and look at the short interest percentage of the free float data within Ortex. As we can see, we can see that it currently is at 22.63%. That is still pretty dang high and a 3.51% change from the previous day. Great to see that. You know, the cost of our average is sitting at 2.19%. The max is sitting at 3.43%. The days to cover. The days to cover has decreased slightly. We're currently at 0.65 days and the utilization rate is at 83%. 0.04. Next, we're going to be looking at this article about Clover Health co-hosting a healthcare equity event alongside community leaders in Atlanta, Georgia. So basically, they co-hosted an event with faith-based leaders in Atlanta, focused on identifying health equity barriers and developing creative solutions aimed at increasing access to quality services for the Medicare population in the area. Atlanta City Council member Mike Julian Bond will present a proclamation in honor of Clover Health's commitment to improving health equity and Bishop Carlton Pearson uh, will deliver remarks on how local church leaders can coalesce to bring uh, quality health care solutions to more seniors in metro area. So it's great to see that co-hosting, that um, partnership that they had there and overall good news for Clover Health. You know, it's great to see articles in the news all the time about Clover Health. And this is, again, just a great one from the previous day. Next, we're going to be looking at Ape Wisdom. We're going to move this up today. Today, uh, Ape Wisdom, on Ape Wisdom, we can see that Clover Health, Clover Health is trending on Reddit, and it's sitting at number five. It's sitting at number five on that list. It's been in that top five ranking for a while. Sometimes it's even at number one. So it's great to see that it's up there, still talked about, on the subreddits that are listed at the top, Wall Street Bets, Wall Street Bets New, Elite, uh, Stocks, Investing, SPACs, Options, Day Trading. You know, we got the S&P 500 there, AMC, GameStop, the two little sister stocks there, uh, Moderna above it. Um, and when you look into it, and this is something I showed in my last video, we can actually click it and see the overall sentiment, okay? We got 204 mentions, 1,536 upvotes on it, and 65%, that's a little bit bigger. Uh, than yesterday's sentiment on it with great keywords nearby. Wish, like, moon, pump, AMC, stock, calls, more, bag, holders, green, and some other words as well. So people have said, you know, hey, you know, you're bag holders out here. But when I look at the stock and I look at the fundamentals, however, you know, I just want to say this. We know, number one, we're below that list price. Number two, we are below the one-year price target from analysts. And so I still believe that this is still a great value, a great price to get into. And especially, you know, under that $8 range so far, people have been picking up shares like crazy and bringing that stock price above that $8 range consistently for the last couple of days. And so that still is where I am buying that dip um, uh, in these past couple of days. So yeah, we do have that negative energy sometimes around Clove, but overall, I still believe that it is a good play. Okay, next we're gonna be looking at the Clove subreddit. And as you can see that over the last couple of days, um, we have still seen that growth in um, the amount of people that join the Clove subreddit. And right now we're sitting at a very, very high 38.1%. Uh, thousand members i remember you know when this subreddit was under ten thousand, right and so when you see that big number you see the amount of people joining the subreddit you're like holy crap that is a lot that is a lot of momentum to get this far so fast and you know right now even though the price is staying pretty consistent we still see that growth because we see more and more people getting into this fantastic play as we move forward next we're going to go into the options activity with options sonar. As we can see on August 
20th. August 20th is a fun day because there is a very overall bullish sentiment on that day with 12.71 million bullish. We have 1.89 million bearish. So definitely kind of like a 12 to 1 ratio right there on the sentiment that something big will happen before that day that will push the stock price up. But, you know, and I, especially with the last couple of days of seeing that consolidation that we have around that $8, $8.20 mark there, like, hey, you know, maybe there's some truth in that sentiment and that does make a lot of sense. I'm gonna bring you to something kind of new today. Today, we're gonna be looking at chartexchange.com and it actually gives us the dark pool percentages on the volume, okay? And so usually this stock has about 60% um, volume on the exchange in the dark pool, okay? That's, um, and then today though, we had 63.53%. There, so there was even more movement in the dark pool for the volume, okay? And so that definitely, a little bit sketchy. Who knows, who knows, okay? Um, and I would say that the reason why is probably there was a lot of movement around here at this $7.92. That's my guess, right? $7.92, that's a great time to buy. And that's probably where a lot of the movement is. But we're going to go ahead and look at the price movement of the day, of course, though, while we're here. Today, we opened up at $8.20. $8.20. And almost immediately, as we've seen for the last couple of days, the stock price fell down. It fell down to the intra um, intraday low of $7.29. But here's the fun part. Here's the fun part that immediately followed that. And I was part of that dip. I bought into that dip. That was a great opportunity. I also bought in yesterday's dip as well. Um, and that is a wild jump. We went all the way up to $8.28. And that was only in a span of what, like 30 minutes or so? Yeah, just about 30, under 30 minutes, okay? So big increases, especially right in the morning. We see that dip. We see that increase immediately follow. And it went down a little bit more after that rise. And then it kept on going up and up and up and up. And it reached the intraday high at $8.50. So, Wow. That is pretty high, and that is kind of, you know, kind of like the resistance that we're having. Okay, um, I think that this stock has been trading in that 820 under eight area for the last couple of days, and if we can pass that eight dollar and fifty mark soon, I think that we will continue chugging up if we're able to get to that point. We did end the day off at $8.35. But of course, you know, in the after hours, we still see that green. We still see that green went up an extra four cents to $8.39. Hopefully that green will stick tomorrow in the pre-market and then continue on for tomorrow as well. The volume of the day though, the volume of the day was 24.28 million, which is still, it's still a lot lower than the average volume. The average volume is usually 54 million, okay? So we're still about 50% under that. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we continue to have low volume, maybe even get lower. I think that would be even better if we get lower volume in the short term in order to even consolidate even more on the stock because at that point we know, you know, this is a good price, even better. Um, good, uh, better knowledge of that. This is a good price to get in at. And of course, when we look at the order flow, we can actually see that we had our first little green bar. We show that there's more inflow compared to outflow for large scale orders today. It shows that financial institutions um, and financial whales are buying this dip that we're seeing and buying this consolidation that we're seeing and getting in like crazy. We also see, of course, that there's more inflow than outflow for small scale orders as well, which means us apes out there um, getting in on this is always good to see. So that really ends it for this video. If you like what I do, if you like that I talk about this stock clove, please subscribe. I always appreciate it. And of course, like the video as well. And if you want two free stocks valued up to $2,300 by depositing only $5 with Weeble, there is a link in the description below. And as always, have a great trading day tomorrow, you lucky people. Take care. Bye-bye.